Well, good afternoon and welcome down to Windy Hill Kennel. Uh, this is the 21st, I think, and this is Tuesday. So we ended up having to be stuck coming inside to do this today and these guys absolutely hate it in the basement. This is Penny's litter. And we have been so far behind with everything we've been doing since the weather's nice and we've been working on kennels. And we have 35 to 40 mile an hour cold winds today, so we decided back down the basement one more day. So, um, I took pictures of these guys today, so you'll probably see the pictures first. Uh, this will be their last set of pictures. This is their six week picture that we took today, and uh, we're only two days off of it. So from now on, all we're gonna put on is videos, because they were impossible today to put on a table. Um, I wasn't happy with their pictures, Oh, well, this is good. So you guys playing London Bridge? Now stand up and lift her off her feet. Um, so at this age, putting them on a table is a nightmare. So I did get you new pictures, uh, but next week it's a video, and the following week it's a video, and then they go home. So um, they're doing good. They are getting really big. So today we're gonna do some pictures on them and we are going to um, hold them up let you see faces. So let's get started. Um, come here, Munchkin. So this is the black with the turquoise collar. They have huge coats, 0446. So you can see this coat. It's really, 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 really thick. Nice big coat. Can you sit up here and give them a face shot? Since you didn't want to do anything on the table but lay down. So my table I shoot pictures on is about four and a half foot off the ground. So it's up at my height. So I don't have to bend over. So at this age, when I sit them on a table, they freak out because they can see the floor. Three pounds, 14 ounces. And uh, they do not like it at all. So, huh, see, I did not like it at all. The worst one in here was the pink collar one. Oh my golly. All that wanted to do was this, this on the table, just army crawl just army crawl and um, you'll be able to tell by her expression she was not enjoying her morning with me at all um, come here ornery so this is the chocolate it's a chocolate male and he is a big boy he's got the red collar and so and she really can walk why she army calls I don't know you've heard it take her to the kennel and she goes crazy and runs 0443 is his microchip number and he also hated his pictures taken this one says i'm this one was probably one of the better ones and he was liking the pictures um until i put him in the chair and you'll see what i mean by that but uh yeah he's enjoying playing down here now so this guy is i think this is the biggest one in the litter and he's heavy he is five pounds oh just a minute five pounds nine ounces right on the button I'm, I don't even think I've been giving you microchip numbers, but you all know your puppies by this point and they're all different colors, so we're good. Uh, this one is the female with the purple collar. So you were a really good girl. You stood up for me in the pictures, didn't you? Yeah, she was really good. Um, she wasn't afraid at all. See, even when I put her four foot and a half foot up in a chair, she wasn't afraid. Can you look at the camera? Can you look at Vanessa for a minute? She says, no, I don't want to. She says, no, I don't want to. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Let's see what you weigh. She has four pounds, two ounces on the button. You want down? You want down? Right, you can get down. All right, come here, army crawler. I swear, you know they'll call you combat. Or uh, what's another army name for you that would be good? Camo, we'll call you camo, because you look like camouflage. So this is 0444, this is the army crawler. She's got the neon pink collar. She's got beautiful, beautiful coat. Do I see any sign of silver in here yet? No, I do not. Um, she's got little tiny hairs in here that might be a different color, but it's so hard to tell. She's holding her reddish brown so far really good. Sit up here and look at them. Can you look at everybody? Oh, my nose itches. You're, you're not going to look at anybody even down here, are you? Nope, you're going to be goofy. She's been goofy every time we do pictures. 
All right, you guys are gonna move a second. Okay, there it goes, zeroed out. So she is four pounds, 11 ounces, right on the nose. You wanna get out of the bucket? Can you get out? It's a really far jump. What are you doing, Munchkin? You're my fuzzy butt. She's my fuzzy butt. Yeah, you're my fuzzy butt. I know it. He's a fuzzy butt. Yeah, you're a fuzzy. This one's fuzzy. He is so fuzzy. This is the royal blue collar. And he's got, I'm gonna make you climb out of there. Here, you need to come over here so she can jump. This guy is all fuzz. He looks like a little polar bear, except he's the wrong color. I'm not getting you. I feel you. You want me to get you. I'm not getting you. He's got beautiful coat. I love the different shades in here. He's got cream. He's got brown. He's got dark brown. No, I'm not getting you. You just have to jump. And... He's got this big white patch on his chest. He's just, he's just a good boy. Yeah, he got itchy spots. No, no itchy spots. And I think, I'm not sure, you don't have to, a little bit of blue eye. No, you've got a green eye and another green. It got green eyes. They're very pretty. It kind of looks blue. I don't know. You'll have to decide when you come to get him. This eye on the left in the camera looks a little bit bluish, but they both have, he has a green ring around him. You're not gonna get out? All right, I'll get you out. All right, let's see what you weigh. There she goes, we're gonna army throw. <laughs> five pounds, 0 0.5. What do you think, can you get down? Can you get down? He says, I don't know. Oh, there we go, good job. Uh, I think that's all of them. So they're all doing really good. And I will get them in the yard. We may even do it this week. If we get a super nice day this week towards Friday or Saturday, I'm going to put them out in the yard and uh, do a video of them out there. They're going to be six weeks old on Thursday. They're going to get their first shots on Thursday. Um, I know, I see you. Such a good boy. Yeah, you're such a good boy. I know, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Um... They've been getting a bath. They give it in there. In fact, Vanessa gave them a bath today. Uh, we're gonna pluck everybody's ears about the seventh week because they're where they're gonna go home with plucked ears, scooped out faces. Uh, we'll get all their grooming done to them here before they go home. I know. I see ya. I see ya. Yeah, you're a good boy. You gonna army crawl now too? Yeah, you're a good boy. Um, so a couple things that uh, just as a precursor to you guys getting here. Um, if it's a really super, super nice day, we're going to do this outside when you come. And so I'm hoping that when we get into May, we have a nice, nice weekend. Um, I would really appreciate it. We have, we're about three miles from Utica. There is a uh, Duke and Duchess in Utica. I would really appreciate it if you need to use the restroom or anything before you come. If you would please run up to the Duke and Duchess because we aren't, we're really not letting anybody go through the house right now because of this COVID-19. Um, and that'll save me having to disinfect the whole bathroom down. So um, with as many people are coming, we're trying to limit time and we're trying to really eliminate in the kennel in the house area. And so if it's nice, we're going to do everything pickup wise outside, I hope. So we'll see what the weather looks like. If it's not raining, that's where we're going to be. You going underneath? Nope, didn't fit, did you? Um, I did find out today I can get dog clippers. I've had a lot of people asking me, so we're actually picking them up at the wholesale house tomorrow. So if you are interested in a pair of Bravera clippers like we use here at the kennel, um, I've had people tell me they can't find them, that places are sold out. So if you're gonna do your own grooming um, and you want a pair of clippers, please let me know. I'm gonna actually, are you sliding around? <laughs> And if you want to know what they are, what they look like, or all that, and model numbers, uh, they're made by Walls. They are a battery or electric clipper. You can use them with a cord on them, or you can unplug them and take them outside and groom for about two and a half hours, and no problem. Um, we use them here all the time in the kennel. I also have electric clippers we use. So they're both nice. It just depends on what you're interested in. Um, but we are going to have those available if I'm out of stock. My supplier is a horse supplier. So they're not sold out. It's all the dog suppliers that are selling out of clippers. 
uh, because a lot of groomers aren't back in business yet. Um, so it's up to you, but just a, a FYI, we do have clippers available if you need them. Um, trying to think what else I can throw at you. As I told everybody else, when you come to pick up, if you're interested, I have plenty of dog food. So you can buy a, a 35 pound, a 30, you know, 35 pound bag. Our dog food is $35 a bag. I don't charge you any more than I pay for it. Uh, we buy it by the ton, so we get a really good buy on it. And um, so that's available here. I also will have shots available if you don't, are not gonna be able to easily get into a vet when it's, I don't know what this going underneath everybody is. Um, if you're not able to get into a vet, we do have shots and they go home. Um, if you bring a small cooler, we do have shots available and we do have syringes and needles that go home with them. So um, we'll give you whatever we can give you to help you get going if you're doing this on your own at home. So um, you should have all gotten your videos and your information by now. I sent all that stuff out. If you didn't get it when you see this video, please call me, uh, not call me, text me and say, hey, I did not get my videos. I'm in Penny's litter uh, and I'll turn around and send them right back out to you. Sometimes they go in your spam because there is several videos on the email and it's not an email or video you can watch on my website. These are private. So um, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out with that if you need to. Where are we at? 11.30. Oh, we got time. Um, when you come to pick up your puppies, they will be groomed, ears plucked, toenails trimmed, hygiene clips done, um, so they'll be ready to rock and roll. And you're gonna need to pluck ears about every seven weeks. It's super easy to do. You're gonna need some ear powder. If you would like to get your information sheet where to get all this stuff before you come, text me. I will send you back a picture. Uh, I shot a picture on my phone. I'll text you the picture so you can call some of the vendors now if you need to find things you can't get at your pet stores. Um, ear plucking powder is one of the things some pet stores carry, some pet stores don't. And I don't know availability right now because of this COVID-19 thing, so some of the places may be sold out, but I can check for you. And I can also put you in touch with a couple wholesalers that sell it um, if the pet stores don't have it. So. I hope you enjoyed their video. I'm sorry we're inside with it. I, said, I know they hate it inside, they really do. Um, Cause this is a place they never come except we do this to them. And I'm so tired of you army crawling. I really want them to know you can walk. Yes, you're such a stinker. So we'll do this outside, hopefully another day this week and get you another picture. But I wanted to let you know they're still alive. They're doing great. We've just been crazy busy. Don't you piddle on my carpet. <laughs> She's going to piddle. I was going to tell you, no piddling. No piddling. No. All right. Well, you guys have a great week. Um, I'll get some pictures on for you later this evening. And call me if you have any questions. Have a good one.